your local guy Justin Ogburn here. I am about to bro out with my good friend Adam. We're at Envision Fitness and uh, I'm actually wearing what's usually my first of the month bro tank. I am here with Adam. He is the owner and a fitness coach at Vision Fitness. Thanks a lot for meeting with me today. Absolutely, thanks. And how long have you been in the fitness industry? Oh gosh, I've been doing fitness for, what, 17 years now, ever since I got out of college. Ooh, that probably is a date range, that's not good. <laughs> um, but yeah, I've owned Envision Fitness now for what, eight years? Why specifically did you start Envision Fitness then? Boy, that's a, that's a good question. So I got started in, I went to college for athletic training, sports medicine, um, really liked working with athletes, went down to the Olympic Training Center, did some things down there with their athletes, came back up, and I really started working with the general public here for a gym locally in Omaha, and that was where I tell people my passion for the body and learning about medicine and the heart connection kind of came about. And I started talking with people and helping people gain confidence in their fitness journey, lose weight, obviously, uh, gain some of their health back. But the biggest thing was is getting messages and voicemails and phone calls of people saying like, wow, I went and played with my grandkids and I didn't feel like I had to get up and like stretch in the morning and take 400 milligrams of Advil was kind of the heart connection for me. Uh, so as I moved my ranks up into the corporate world, I just realized that wasn't something I wanted to do. I wanted to make it more about the clients. So I decided to start my own. Yeah, so we provide, our biggest one is personal training, one-on-one -on -one coaching, uh, where we get together and we comprise a component and a fitness program that's fit around your lifestyle and your needs. Uh, so we take a bunch of different things into that aspect as far as cardiovascular training, strength training, nutrition, and then supplementation. We comprise that to fit your body type and your needs and what's best for you. We also just do nutrition coaching if you're interested in just the nutrition portion of it, which is obviously a big thing. And then our newest endeavor is that we've got onto the online coaching and we have a full-time online coach that does strictly online coaching where we developed an app that sends you all the workouts for you. And we just check up with you, keep you accountable and have a check-in days. I didn't know you had an app. Where, so where do you find the app? Yeah, so you can go onto the Apple Store and click in Envision Fitness, and that app will show up. What would you say is your training philosophy, your training approach that you take? Yeah, so we take a little bit more of a detailed approach. Um, obviously, I come in a sports medicine background, um, so I'm big on form and what you can do. So most people, I tell them most of the time, we probably won't touch a weight four to six weeks. Not everybody, but most people that we work with, we won't touch weight. So we'll go through some assessment exercises. Uh, we'll test like your ankle and your joints and knee and hip and shoulder and all those flexions. And so our whole philosophy is like, if you can't do a full-fledged squat, I, there's no point in adding a pound to you. So we want you to be able to do all those things properly before we actually start getting in and adding weights. Uh, we also use a tempo style workout. So obviously if you think about like your muscles, there's hundreds of thousands of muscle fibers in each muscle and we want to get all of them to work in congruency. So you think about like lifting weights, if you're going really fast, you're probably only working 60% of that muscle, which says what? You're getting 60% of the efficiency out of that actual exercise. So we'll slow that down so we're actually getting 100% of the efficiency out of the exercise. How do you track the progress of your clients and then how do you set those goals for them? Absolutely. So that's a really good question. So goal tracking and setting progress is a huge thing. So we'll do a couple of different things. We set long-term goals, obviously. Ultimately, what do you want to fully accomplish in your fitness journey? And then we kind of work our way backwards from there. I tell a lot of people we're, we're a little bit different. Uh, we don't want to like, you know, jump all the way. This is a long-term process. We talk about people, this is a lifestyle change, not like, oh, I just want to achieve my 60 pounds. Cool. I'm good. And I go back to my old eating habits. So we develop those daily habits. I'm really big on 1% change every day over a long period of time equals a huge change after a year. So we set small goals and we just continue to work our way up to there. So what we'll do is we'll try to create habits. So we may set one to two goals and work on those for 14 days until you get really comfortable with them. That might be changing something as simple as getting 80 ounces of water in a day. And once we accomplish that, we'll move on to another goal. And then we'll move on to another goal. And what will happen is you'll notice after a year's time period, you've changed a ton of goals, but it doesn't seem like a big change to you. What would you say is your best success story that you've had so far with a client you've worked with in the past? 
Hmm, that's a good question. So I would probably say my best one is I started with a lady who called me, this was probably about 10 years ago, and uh, I sat down with her. She had some, she was a long-term smoker. Um, she had significantly overweight and she had just got done meeting with some doctors and she had some vascular things going on with her legs and blood flow. And honestly, the doctors wanted to amputate her leg because of that. And she obviously didn't want to go that route right away. She wanted to try something different um, through the process of us training. We still train today, but in about a year and a half time period, she lost 120 pounds. Um, she dropped about 31 inches of total inches off her body. But the most important thing is she actually went back to her vascular surgeon a year later and her vascular surgeon was like, wow, you've made some changes, improvements. She stopped smoking. And they were like, wow, you have significant blood flow into your leg and no vascular problems. And we don't need to even think about it at this point in time. So that was probably our biggest success story. That's awesome. Adam, uh, thanks a lot for taking the time and meeting with me today. I got two more questions for you. All right. So first, favorite ex exercise? Oh, I'm a hang clean guy. Hang clean. Yep. <laughs> Back to athletics. <laughs> still 40, still grinding. <laughs> All right. And then favorite healthy snack? Ooh, so I'm a chip guy. So I like uh, carnivore crisps is what they're called. So a little bit of a chip, but I got a lot of protein. If you need help buying, selling, or leasing a home, I hope you remember my name. I would love to get the opportunity to earn your trust and confidence. Call me on my cell at 402-600-3006 if you would like to be featured as one of my upcoming guests and share your story in a future video. I know I don't look like it, but I like working out myself. You know? <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. He's been working out with us for a while. I think I had to go with pull-ups for my favorite workout. Pull-ups? I wouldn't. That surprises me. Oh, I love me some good pull-ups. <laughs> yep. Uh, yeah, my uh, my process is a little simple. I just pick stuff up and put it down. Start with it. <laughs>